actually got a good crowd of kids here this morning. Can you guys stand up, the kids? It's just nice to be able to see y'all. So um, today we're talking about approval. So if you want to have, uh, keep standing up, keep standing up. Hold on, I'm going to call on you. Um, if you want to get good grades, like I know y'all just got your report cards a couple weeks ago. If you want to get good grades, whose approval do you need? Any guesses? Teachers. The teachers, right? Okay, for those of you who are playing sports, if you want to play in the game, whatever it might be, soccer, baseball, football, whose approval do you need? Not a bell. The coaches, right? And if you want to continue to um, use your game systems, watch TV, have your tablets and your cell phones, and generally have the privileges you have at home, maybe drive a car, whose approval do you need? Your parents, right? All right, now you can have a seat. Thank you, guys. All those approvals matter. If you want to have a good home life, you need the approval of your parents, you want to do well in school, and then, of course, you have your friends, and you want their approval as well, right? If you want them to think you're cool and you're someone they want to hang out with and be friends with. But in the midst of all that approval, there's one other person whose approval you really need to have. Who else is that? God, Jesus. Yes, it's God's approval. And that's one of the things that we need to be reminded of. And a really easy way to think about, eh, would God approve what I'm doing is to, well, ask that question. Would God be happy with what I'm doing right now, what I'm saying right now, how I'm treating other people right now, or how I'm acting? Would God be happy with that? And I bet you, if you keep that question in front of you, if you think about that, the way you act and you treat other people, if you look at pleasing God, then it's going to be much easier to get the approval of your teachers and of your coaches and of your parents and even of your friends. So that's the question I want you to remember. Is God happy with how I'm acting, how I'm treating other people, and what I'm doing right now? And that's a really good guide to have to your life. Can you remember that? All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the people in our life who do give us approval and love, for our parents who guide us, for our coaches who help to teach us, for our teachers and friends who guide us on the way. May we remember, though, that in all that, we are to seek the approval of you. May your love and your grace and your wisdom guide the lives of our kids and youth and guide the lives of our adults as well. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.